Hey everyone, this video is about the foreign exchange reserves and gold reserves by country. Foreign exchange reserves are totals of the foreign currency deposits, bonds, treasury bills, and other government securities held by central banks and monetary authorities of a country. Monetary gold is not covered in the IMF currency composition of official foreign exchange reserves report. Gold is separate part of reserves assets of a country. In this video, total reserves are calculated by adding the US dollar value of gold and foreign exchange reserves. The US dollar value of gold reserves is calculated using the end of quarter London gold fix price. It took us almost 50 hours to make this video for you. Please like and subscribe, it will take you only 2 seconds. Central banks and other monetary authorities have become a key source of gold demand since 2010. Between 2010 and 2016, the average annual central bank net purchases were 470 tons of gold accounting for 11% of global gold demand. And global official gold holdings have grown more than 33,000 tons from just 31,000 tons in 2010. According to the GFMS Gold Survey, the official sector activity rose 46% to 536 tons of purchases in 2018. This is the second highest level of demand in this century. The top 10 holders of international reserves account for nearly two-thirds of the world's total foreign currency reserves. China reached at 3.3 trillion US dollars at the end of 2011, 10 years ago it had only 146 billion US dollars. Second is Japan with 1.3 trillion US dollars. They are the only two countries with reserves above 1 trillion US dollars. The United States holds the number one spot with over 8,000 tons of gold in its vaults, nearly as much as the next three countries combined. Not every central bank is a net buyer. Venezuela has been selling off its gold reserves in order to support its struggling economy. So far in 2019 gold demand has remained strong. The January to June period saw the highest levels of central bank purchases since 2010. As global debt continues to skyrocket central banks and individual investors might want to keep gold in their vaults, as gold historically has performed well during times of economic downturn and geopolitical uncertainty. Thanks for watching.